guys. So, this is our first recording ever of Farm Sim 22 with me. My name is Kevin. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm still learning the game, but I think I'm starting to get it. Um, what I'll probably do is, basically this is just a learning curve on this one. Whenever I figure it out a lot better, I'll uh, open up a full version of the recording. And then we'll go from there and do a lot more. Um, start a brand new game, all that good fun stuff. So, um, sounds good to me. Let's grab this. Um, I'm not used to this part. I don't remember this being in Farm Sim 19. As the last game I played Farm Sim. But hey, you know what? It's always time to learn something new, right? So apparently we have to roll the fields. Nothing wrong with that. It's pretty easy. Nothing, uh... Nothing strict about it from what I've learned so far. But, we'll zoom out. That way we can see the whole thing. I'm not a perfect driver, by the way, on this. I've got my other tractor over there. We're using the, uh, farm, the farm helper. Make it a lot easier to do some stuff around here. And I've got a lot of the uh, issues, uh, I don't know what you call it, I guess. Um, I guess uh, make it a little easier. That way I'm not destroying the fields, because that would have just destroyed the field back there. See, of course, because of that, I can always do it the easy way here. Turn the roller on. Just go to town on my rolling here. Yeah, sometimes I'll do this. I'll hit the H button. Make it a little easier on myself. Let the farm helpers help out. Pay them a little bit. Most of the, uh, I started the game in medium. And so I had one and a half million dollars. I bought this tract of land, which is also what you get, I found out, with the easy version of the game. And figured I'd just go ahead and try this out in the medium. I do have some mods, which uh, I would have to show all that to you later on. That way I can make sure everybody knows what I'm using here. And now that farmer is done. We'll go ahead and move him out of the way. Most of it's just some stuff to help me out. Um, things with the trucks and stuff like that. Uh, trailers, some of the small stuff, Noth nothing major. Come park him over here out of the way. I think he can actually, I forget, I think he can fit in the barn. All this is the stock stuff that I have on here. Yeah, he fit right in, he fit right on in there, didn't he? He's pretty tall, but. and turn that off jump out of there I know I could just you know merge my way on over to the next tractor not even doing very good walking so I got this trailer here that was in mod um, of course these trucks and all their attachments are mods uh, this trailer is a mod all on the farm sim or the farm sim 22 mod stuff um, let's see of course the tractors are all stock game stuff all that um, so when I bought the farm here um, it was this this property here that property and then the other property or the other land over here um, all came with this I love this sprayer uh, one and a half million dollars got me quite a bit forgot I was supposed to turn that on first this sprayer is amazing just so you know We'll unfold it and I'll show you why I think it's so amazing. You gotta zoom out though. Need to get rid of that tree and make it easier on everything. So like I said I had one and a half million dollars when I started and this here's why I think this sprayer is amazing. It pretty much and maybe if I moved over to the left a little bit it would actually get this whole dang field. So 
So, um, this here is kind of the first on this channel. I've done gaming sims before. Um, some of my favorite games right now are this Farm Sim 22. I have not played in a long time American Truck Sim. I'm ready for Texas and Montana to come out. Um, I, I want to get back into that. Working full time and doing all this, of course, makes it more fun trying to get everything. Alright, that's all good. Let's come back over here real quick. I'm pretty sure this is entirely fertilized now. That's all good. Looked like the corn that was already part of the farm was not fertilized. See, right now I'd be destroying the crops if I didn't have crop destruction turned off. Yes, I know it's kind of cheating, but you know. I'm not perfect at the game by no means and so it's my it's kind of my way of uh, making it easier on myself all right we're gonna see if we spray this if this will help everything here I'm just gonna go down the one time spraying it it looks like I'm getting the whole field all the way from left to right if I miss a little bit it's not too bad I guess turn that off Close that back up and go park it. That's the unrealistic part of it by not having the crop destruction and all that. But all right, it is fertilized at fifty percent, so better than nothing. But you know, if I would have planted it like I did all this canola over here, you know, it would have been a lot better. All right, we'll park that. Let's go show you what else I've got going on over here. I went ahead and bought a chicken house to start this. Went ahead and bought 200 chickens. Um, got the feed in here, so their health has gone up. I uh, looked at it when I first bought them. They were at 2%. Now they're at 12%. Um, last time I played around with this, of course, it was on the easy version. Their health went up just because they had their food. Yeah, got 200 chickens, roosters, uh, 10 roosters, I think. The rest are all chickens. Um, got this truck sitting over here, and it's collecting eggs for me. It's amazing how the truck can lean like this, and the eggs just stay perfectly in there. Um, I did have to cut on this tree right here. I did have to cut part of that tree down to get my truck in there, but I figured it'd make it a lot easier having this truck right here. So... so. That's how we've got that. Um, did find out you can go in the chicken house like that. And it's got some cool lights. I hadn't paid attention to these lights yet. Chase that chicken. Close that up. So this here is just a little bit of a look at what I've got going on. I've got canola growing. And I've got canola growing over there. And then of course I've got the cornfield which was part of the game. Uh, or part of this farm whenever I first started it. Which is right there. And it says it's growing. So not much I can do. We can, I guess I could go do what I set up. I wanted to do and get rid of this tree. But it's such a pretty tree. I'm not a tree hugger by any means. But you know. It's in the way but. I meant it's not in the way. Um, so I had to buy my own house on the game because it did not have a house in here. I had to put this up. The barn was there and that barn was there. But I wanted to go simple on the house. No need. I mean, I can't do nothing in the house. So why have a fancy house? So just got something simple for now. Um can't swing so I don't know if that can even be taken out let's go park the tractor though since my farm hand the farm hands won't park it they'll just turn the tractor off and park it wherever they were at all right let's see we'll just bring it over here and park it in the barn over here be a lot easier Maybe. 
it's amazing how fun it can be to try to back a trailer sometimes on this game. Maybe if I was to go inside the cab and try. Let's try. You know? That might actually be easier. Do it more like real life, like you're in, in the vehicle. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that, so hang on. Maybe if I wasn't using a keyboard even. Who knows? Y'all can laugh at me all you want for this. Let's try it again. Let's see. Can we get it in there now? Can we get it in there now? We got it. We got it. All right. Get it back in there a little bit farther. We'll drop it. And then when we need it, we'll have it available. All right. It's past the forklift, so we can get the forklift out. Now we can come over here and park the tractor in here and we'll have it all safe and sound. That way it's all packed away and then we'll, uh, if we need to, we can speed the game up and close it up and all that good stuff. So, turn the tractor off. Let's park. Now we don't need to park the truck in the garage. Guys, I didn't want to record very long, but I did want to kind of introduce this. Um, what I, if I continue to use this one as everything, then we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna play around some more and get to learn a little bit better, and then uh, once I learn it better, I probably just start a brand new one from scratch. That way, the only thing I do is when I record it. So, guys.